Do you want to know about finance and accounting jobs in Canada in the year 2019? Then this video is for you. I won't tell you about the job openings, but I will tell you something which is more important. I'll tell you the top job titles, the salary trends, the skills in demand and top certifications all in the field of finance and accounting in Canada in this year. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Hello everybody, I am Shitanshu from Dream Abroad. I regularly upload Canadian lifestyle and immigration videos. So if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please subscribe it right now. So to start with, let's discuss the top job titles in the finance and accounting sector. Number one is accountants. Accountants take the top spot on this year's list. Though when many people think of accountants, taxes instantly come to mind. Accountants do a lot more than that. The majority of accountants work in enterprise accounting departments. Accountants are record keepers and financial experts, helping businesses keep track of their money with detailed records. Number two is financial analyst. Financial analysts do exactly what it sounds like they do. They analyze finances watching for trends and opportunities in stocks, bonds, investments and other financial transactions. Though most financial analysts work for banks, insurance companies or other finance oriented sectors, some large enterprises have financial analysts on site to forecast industry trends and potential areas for investment. Number three is controller. Controllers oversee Key accounting functions that keep businesses running smoothly such as the general ledger, general accounting and accounts payable are mid-management in most enterprise accounting departments. They typically report to the CFO though in some smaller organizations they may be the top financial officer. Number four is the financial advisor. Financial advisors are professionals who keep clients make decisions related to their investments or finances. Financial advisors tends to be a fairly entry-level finance role and is particularly popular in the banking sector. Number five is business analyst. They are strategists of the finance and accounting world. The primary function is to identify and solve business problems, finding ways to improve functions, processes or softwares. Though business analysts may not focus solely on finance or accounting functions. Many business analysts are employed by banks, insurance companies and other employers in the financial sector. Number six is staff accountant. They are general accounting professionals who work for a large organization in either the public or private sector. They are typically part of department of accounting professionals. Those skilled accountants, they are typically considered an intermediate level accounting role and may work under a more experienced accountant or controller. Payroll clerk number seven. Payroll clerk is an entry level accounting job specializing in internal payroll. They administer payroll for employees and their organization. Payroll clerks may also be responsible for other elements of employee compensation such as benefits administration or answering payroll related queries for employees. All right, number eight, tax accountants. Tax accountants do exactly what people typically think the accountants do. They specialize in taxes. Tax accountants can specialize even further and opt to work in corporate or personal taxation. Okay, time to talk about money. So now let's talk about the salaries of these jobs. The finance and accounting sector has median salary of $97,700 in 2019. This is significantly up from $85,000 last year. So it's a good, good news. This high median salary makes finance and accounting the highest paying sector in Canada for this year of 2019. Congratulations, guys. On the ends of the pay spectrum, the lowest 10% of the earners make $10,000 $900 or less while the top 10% earners make $134,400 or more. So this was about salaries. Now let's talk about the best skills. Number one is the MS Excel. 
Excel has been a staple in the finance and accounting industry and has gone through many iterations, but it continues to be the most important skill employers look for. Advanced knowledge of Excel and a deep dive into key features such as pivot tables will be in demand into 2019 and beyond. Number two is International Finance Reporting Standards, IFRS. These are a set of accounting standards used globally and determined by an independent body. They are a worldwide standard for preparing enterprise financial statements. It goes without saying if you work in accounting, you should know about IFRS. So the next in-demand skill is anti-money laundering. AML is exactly what it sounds like. It is a set of procedures, laws and regulations intended to prevent income being generated through illegal means. Knowledge of AML will help you in a variety of finance and accounting roles, but most notably analyst roles. Next is public accounting. Public accounting involves being an independent third party that examines the financial statements and documentation of a client or company. This is in opposition to private accounting, which is done internally. Public accounting typically requires in extensive knowledge of accounting standards and is highly sought after by employers in the accounting sector, particularly accounting firms, which serve a variety of external clients. Next on the list is generally accepted accounting principles, CAP. Much like International Financial Reporting Standards, IFRS, GAP is a series of standardized accounting rules to promote financial transparency and consistency. Unlike IFRS, GAP rules vary by industry, however. Some employers prefer GAP, other IFRS, and both remain popular and sought after skills in accounting. The last one is French bilingualism. In Canada, many companies manage a single head office that handles accounting and finances for the entire country. That makes knowledge of French a huge asset. As companies operating in all of Canada's provinces, including Quebec, will typically need to deal with both French and English language documentation. All right, now let's talk about the certifications. So number one is Chartered Professional Accountant or CPA. The CPA designation tops the list of for another year. Accepted as the gold standard in the Canadian accounting sector, if you're a CPA, your skills are instantly in high demand. Next one is Certified Management Accountant or CMA. Though similar to the highly popular CPA designation, becoming a CMA requires additional strategic and management expertise in addition to the accounting skills of a CPA. That makes CMAs more suited to business and strategy oriented roles rather than strictly accounting roles. The next important certification is Chartered Financial Analyst or CFA. Covering a broad range of expertise in the financial and investment sector, a CFA credential is a gold standard for financial analysts in Canada. Offered by the CFA Institute, this designation is highly regarded in the finance industry and is often a requirement in banking and investment roles. The next one is Certified Internal Auditor or CIA. The CIA designation is an important one for auditors in Canada, not to be confused with the US's Central Intelligence Agency. In Canada, CIAs are Certified Internal Auditors. CIAs are experts in analyzing financial records and minimizing risks. and Financial losses companies are exposed to. Next one in the list is Canadian Payroll Association Certification. Payroll is a crucial segment of the accounting specialty. The Canadian Payroll Association offers designations including Payroll Compliance Practitioner, PCP, and Certified Payroll Manager, CPM. PCP is the entry level payroll certification, while CPM is the choice for payroll specialists who have the, their eye on a management role. The last but not the least is Canadian Securities Course, CSC. 
The Canadian Securities course is considered an entry-level course for those who want to work in the Canadian security industry. It can also be a requirement for other financial jobs dealing with mutual funds, stocks and fixed income securities. It's offered by the Canadian Securities Institute. So this was the list of the certifications. I told you the list of the in-demand skills. I told you the salaries and the job titles as well. And this was all about the finance and accounting sector in Canada in the year 2019. I just hope that uh, you liked the video. The information shared in this video was helpful to you. But before I end this video, let me tell you that all the information shared in this video, all of these certifications, salaries, everything has been taken from the study conducted by the human resource company Ranstead Canada. So thank you guys for watching this video. If uh, you like the video, please click the like button and share it with your friends if you think it would be useful for them. And also, I notice many people see my video, but they don't subscribe to the channel. I have a very long list of people who watch but don't subscribe so please don't miss to click that subscribe button so that you don't miss any of my videos thanks again for watching this video